friends how's everybody doing thank you for stopping by if you're new here thank you for stopping by if you're a subscriber and you've been with me from the beginning thank you for stopping by today we're going to discuss fragrances that are going to carry you from the summer to the fall and just into the winter slightly into the winter um, most of these fragrances are floral because that is my thing. That is what I like. Um, some of them have some very interesting uh, notes in them. One of them is my right now fave. I'm loving it. Um, one is a surprise that I like it. It's a very big surprise. I went ahead and I said, hmm, these notes are interesting. Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? Ulta has a great return policy, by the way. So, again, these are going to be fragrances that are going to carry you from summer to fall. And the first one I'm going to discuss is going to be by Mr. Paco Rabanne. And this is called On a BA. Now, this is one of the... I bought this the first year it came out. Um, and it has gone like strange color. It still smells the same. It smells great, so it hasn't turned in that you know respect. But um, the color should be a little lighter. So if you're interested and you go to the store and you see it's lighter, no worries. It's supposed to be light. This is just dark. But it has not turned, and it is uh, still smells great. It's very pretty. Now this one is a sweet slightly salty slightly floral smooth fragrance um, the top notes are going to be mandarin orange you have your water jasmine and your ginger flower now this has a mid note and i'm sure i've smelled it before i just didn't realize what i was smelling but this has as a mid note salt you do smell the saltiness but it's not like iodine salt or even pink himalayan salt it's just a little salt a little, a little dash um and it also has that nice smooth vanilla as a mid note now for the base notes it's going to be cashmere wood and sandalwood makes it so comforting so calming and very sexy if i may add um anything with vanilla Anything with cashmere wood, anything with sandalwood is going to be very smooth. It's going to be very sensual. But it's not going to be too much. As long as you don't have um, the cashmere in the first, uh, the top notes, as long as it's in the dry down, you're good to go. Well, that is if you like that note. If you don't like that note, then stay far away from this because this is going to dry down nice and woody and sexy um, and smooth. So again, it's going to be LMBA by Paco Rabanne. And here's the bottle. Iconic bottle. Can't miss it. They sell it everywhere. Macy's, Boscov's, Walmart.com. I just found out you can get perfume, nice bottles of perfume from Walmart.com. Never knew that. Now I know. So the second one, I actually um, purchased the second one last week. I have had a chance to wear it. Um, I really like it. It is called the company is called Way. It's spelled O-U-A-I. Hi. <laughs> and this one is called North Bondi. Now, North Bondi, <clears throat> excuse me, North Bondi is a citrusy, floral, powdery scent. Um, the top notes are going to be bergamot, lemon, raspberry, and apple blossom. And I'm going to tell you, the apple blossom and the lemon are the two, because these are blonde. This was a blind buy. I bought this one and I bought Melrose Street um, by the same company. They were both blind buys. I bought them based only on the notes and the fact that that's all that Ulta had. 
if they would have had all four of the perfumes that way you know manufacturers i would have purchased them all and i am waiting for the other two to come in stock because i feel like these two made such a great uh impression on me i'm gonna go ahead and blind buy the other two why not um like i said the lemon and the raspberry and the apple they all play very well together as soon as you spray it it's great it's fruity and i love fruity so yeah this is this is really nice really really nice but it's not so fresh and fruity that you can't wear it when it's cold um the mid notes are going to be all florals it's going to be rose jasmine and violet now i'm not normally a big fan of violet um it's okay if it's placed in the right perfume in the right time you know then it's fine but it's not one of my favorite notes but i do like it in this one um the base notes are going to be patchouli sandalwood and white musk so all of those notes and it's a lot of them they all play very well together um this is not an expensive perfume this perfume was 56 dollars, and of course i used um some of my points and i basically got two of these for less than 100 bucks so and it's a 1.7 ounce bottle a yeah, 1.7 ounce bottle <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry whoa it is an edu perfume so um nice bottle great great price i love it so again that's going to be north bondi by way and my current absolute fave right now i'm so upset that i could not get a larger bottle is going to be by mr mark jacobs perfect and it is truly perfect i love it it is from the bottle to the fragrance itself beautiful i love it um perfect is going to be a fruity a yellow floral slightly green scent um the top notes are going to be sweet sweet rhubarb it's going to be narcissus which is the flower um the mid note is going to be almond milk and the base is going to be cashmere and cedar very simple ingredients very simple notes made for a wonderful fragrance girls run out and get this 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 here i love it full bottle alert largest one they have grab it i don't know how it would smell on a guy hmm stay tuned i think i may have to spray this on someone see how it smells but it smells great for me and i love it so again perfect by mark jacobs okay now I received the next one as a gift. I really, really liked it. Um, to be honest, when you wear it, you can overspray this. I made the mistake of overspraying. I think I've worn it maybe three times. I made the mistake of overspraying it and it was a lesson learned. <laughs> um, two squirts will do you. Two squirts will definitely do you. And the fragrance that I'm referring to is Libre by YSL. Um, it's a beautiful scent. It can be a little heavy. If you overspray, it can be a little heavy. Um, I work in a call center, um, and we're close to each other. And nobody's ever told me that I smell strong. But if I smell it in the, the middle of my day, then I know, mm, let's not spray that much on next time. So, uh, YSL Libre. It is a really, really nice scent. Um, it's very aromatic it's citrusy um, on me it turns very very floral um, I don't get a lot of the spice the vanilla normally calms it down but I don't get a lot of spice it does have vanilla in it it's a lot of notes so let's go over the notes um, the top notes are gonna be mandarin orange lavender pedigree and black currant uh, the mid notes are going to be jasmine lavender and orange blossom and the base notes are going to be Madagascar Vanilla. I'm not sure if that's better than any other kind of vanilla, but Madagascar Vanilla, Cedar, Musk, and Ambergris. Now, like I said, I really like this fragrance. If you're an oversprayer like me, try not to overspray. <laughs> A couple squirts to do you good. So, 
Libre by YSL. And the last one that I am going to discuss is new to my collection. Um, I'm just going to say the original La Vie Est Belle. La Vie Est Belle? I did not care for it was too something i don't know if it was too floral if I, i'm not sure what i just did not care for it um and then there were a few that came after it and they were just okay this one work with me y'all la vie est belle lou la gira i hope that's right <laughs> that's this one right here i absolutely love this one it is all the things that I like, except for the pronunciation. <laughs> I don't like that because it's a lot and I did not do good in French. Anyway, um, it's a very sweet, a very fruity, uh, powdery, vanilla e floral. Um, the notes are going to be top notes of pear and black currant. So it is your fruit. I'm, all for, I'm always here for fruit. Um, your mid notes are going to be all floral which are jasmine and iris, beautiful. And it dries down white musk, praline, and vanilla. So this is super duper sweet. And that's, I like super sweet, um, but it's not so sweet where it's gonna make you not want to wear it when it's cold. Um, it's nice, it's very nice. I was really shocked when the, uh, sales associate was like oh come over you know I have something that you might like it's powdery you know because I was originally I was looking for the um one of the fragrances by Chanel that is a little older I wasn't expecting to find it and I didn't but that's fine mm -hmm. I like this I really like this La Vie Est Belle Lou Léger here's the box ladies <laughs> That's the box if you're interested. Um, from what the sales associate told me, there's a couple of perfumes coming out um, by Lancome for the holiday season. So they are beginning to uh, drop the prices for a lot of the fragrances that they have now. So stay tuned. You may find something that you really, really like. One of your staples that you wear all the time by Lancome. You may find it for cheaper. Um, I believe this was $60, maybe. And it is a 1.7 fluid ounce. So that's not really a bad price, to be honest with you. And I really liked it. So, you know, that, that always matters. If you like it, then buy it, you know. Um, if you are familiar with my videos, you know, unless it's something that I adore, I'm going to buy the smallest bottle. Well, not the rollerball, but the small, usually the one point uh, fluid ounce bottle. Um, there's only a few that I've purchased recently that um, I honestly want a large bottle of. And of course, you already heard me rave about the perfect by Mr. Mark Jacobs. Um, I see me going through this bottle. I see this time next year, I definitely see me purchasing the big one. Um, so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I gave you some ideas about some of the fragrances that you can um, wear to transition from summer to fall. And again, it does depend on where you live and it also depends on you. You may want to wear your heaviest scent in the hottest day of the year. And if you can do it, then please do. Um, but for me, I like to try to transition. I try, try to stay with the... You know the times of year the weather i don't want to you know i don't want to hurt anybody i definitely don't want to hurt myself um and i also want to smell good all day i don't want to have to layer so much that you are wasting your fragrance because i mean why waste it you know i have um, quickly become a collector of fragrance and there's some that i want to pass on to my nieces um or at least the fact that you know go ahead and wear something sweet girl you know, I want to pass that on to my nieces. I don't have any daughters. I don't ever plan on having any more children. So, um, with that note, I hope that uh, I gave you some ideas. Everybody have a great day. Stay blessed. Be kind to one another. Please stay healthy. We have got to get past this whole pandemic. Have a great day. Bye-bye.